Well, it's Tuesday morning, early morning. It's like midnight. I just got home and the battery, I think, is fully charged at 13.67 whatever volts on a 12 volt charge. This thing here was showing 100%, so I'd have to say she's good to go. So right on, toss it back in the mower tomorrow. If it's nice, we'll mow the lawn. If not, frig it. And welcome to my vlog. Sure how well you can see me, but Cat Piss just texted me, wants to go for a cheeseburger picnic. Let's go to Rotten Ronnie's. For yeah. Yeah, I know. I gotta quit doing those cheeseburger picnics and shit. Cat Piss is such a bad influence on me. Uh, he just got back from uh, Oakville, actually. Went down to visit some family and stuff, and he just finished driving for like a lot of hours. And he was super tired. He was hungry as frig, so he's like, "Do you want to go to McDonald's? But can you drive?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guess. What the frig? Let's go." So we went for cruise McDonald's, as you saw. Lots of burgers. Freak sakes, I'm fat, you know, but you guys already know that. So I'm gonna go in the house and probably chill out for a bit and uh, take her easy and then uh, wait for this stuff to digest and then call it a night. Something I wanna mention that I haven't mentioned, I've been doing it for a while, is um, I have my vlog set to auto accept video responses. The reason why I did that is because they made it super easy to do. <clears throat> So if anybody out there wants to add a video response to my video in an attempt to, I don't know, gain more views or get noticed or anything, by all means, man, just give her. Just give her. Dump your videos as a video response. It doesn't matter if it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, you know. Just friggin' have at her. Just shit your videos in the video response and have a good time, you know. And of course, if you want to leave me a video response about my video, you can do that too. That's up to you. But uh, yeah, I've been uh, making it so that it's... Uh, automatically accepted because um, there's been times where I wasn't around to accept a video response and somebody left the video response and like you know three weeks goes by and I notice it and go oh shit I should probably accept this so in all the new vlogs as of before I think it was vlog 495 or whatever it was uh, I started doing that so you guys want to add video responses have at her man just freaking have at her so uh yeah I'm gonna head her inside now and call it her night. I'm pacing like crazy trying to work this friggin' Rotten Ronnie's through my system. Also, uh, there's a guy on Facebook named, uh, I think it's, it's Nate, who is actually building a Firebird body for his RC car. And I'd love to know how the frig he's building that. Have you bought it and he's just modifying it or what? Cause holy shit, tell me that thing wouldn't look sweet with the white Trans Am body on it. That thing would look epic with a Trans Am body. I would love that so much. Trans Am body, those great big off-road tires on her. Hells yeah. That looked friggin' sweet. Wouldn't be to scale or anything. No, no, obviously not, you know, because my tires sit in the body. These ones sit way the frig outside of the body, you know, way outside of the body. Ooh, that wasn't good. But um, I'd love to build or get my hands on a Trans Am body for that truggy, because that'd be friggin' Awesome. Even if it's something I gotta build myself, if I knew how to do it, I'd try it. But, uh, any hoozle, I'm gonna head her in and uh, call it her night. So I'll talk to you guys in the PM. And uh, if it's nice out tomorrow, we're probably gonna mow. And if it's not nice out tomorrow, we're not gonna mow. We'll have to do it another day. But uh, if it's nice out, we'll deal with this battery. If not, well, we'll just pick on Felix or something. I don't know, we'll figure something out. Piss off the kitty, that's always fun. Any hoozle, I'm gonna head her inside and I'll friggin' talk to you guys uh, in the PM. Peace out. Well, it's Monday afternoon. I'm finally getting my ass out of bed. And, uh, yeah, I'm still wearing the same shirt as yesterday because I plan on getting sloppy and messy while I push the old push mower around the front yard. You're probably saying, Adam, she's the riding mower. Can't, won't fit. So we gotta push it. So, hoping I have enough gas in the, uh, actual mower tank to, uh, to mow with this thing because, uh, I don't have any gas left. I dumped it all in the friggin' tractor. So I might have to go to the freaking gas station and reload my jerry can. I kind of sort of don't want to have to. So we'll see if we can get through the front yard with what gas is in here. Then we'll get some more gas later on. So without further ado, I'm going to go mow the lawn. I'm not going to bother filming it because, well, freak sakes, who wants to watch that again, eh? Oh, you want to watch that? Fine, I'll film it. Let's go.
It looks okay. It's pretty decked. Lots of wildflowers over there. It's frigged out. And I also ran the push mower right here because the tractor doesn't get here that easily. So I figured uh, we'd push the mower along it and then clean this area up. Then when I get the rider out, I can blast all this down and then just give her and just give her. So it should be pretty easy work. Right on. I was gonna use the rider today, but you know, I wanna let the grass get a little bit taller. A little bit taller, a little bit thicker. And then uh, we'll hit it with the rider and get her done. One thing I need to do though, is one of these days, is deal with this shit. There's uh, one of those cedar trees. There was one here. So there's a stump right there. And I wanna get that stump going. I'm trying to find a guy in Kijiji with a stump grinder who's willing to, uh, you know, grind it for cash instead of renting one myself. Because uh, I wouldn't have the foggiest on how to use it and stuff, so figured frig it. Find somebody who already has one and wants to make some money and go from there. Right on. Any hoozle. Now I need a shower. Now it's time for a shirt change. Let's go inside. I forgot to mention that yesterday while I was tarping the, uh, the tractor that I, um, I did a uh, video on the oil. And the oil is still golden in it, so it's pretty new oil. So I'm guessing the guy did the oil on the tractor. I did the video and I lost it when the SD car was corrupt, right? So I guess uh, the guy planned on keeping the tractor. Then probably got a wicked deal on a bigger tractor because Rex said his yard was pretty massive. So probably did the oil and did a tune up on it because the plug looks brand new on the, or the plugs, uh, I should say, there's two of them, look brand new on the thing. So I'm thinking he probably did all this tune up work and all that and then the battery itself was half cocked. So he probably had a bitch of a time starting it and decided, you know what, frig it, I'm dumping this piece of shit. And then went out and bought a brand new bigger mower. So I question if the charging system on that guy is actually still working. I don't know how it charges. If it's just like a, if it's an alternator, or if it's like the uh, what is it on an exciter? I think they call it on uh, on Big Red. Maybe it has an exciter. I don't know. But uh, I will stove the fully charged battery back into it and see how she goes. Backs up again. Well, I know a couple people who know that stuff. Can't be hard to get parts for a Briggs and Stratton engine, eh? Can't think. Oh shit! You got a bug on me. Son of a bitch. Freaking little ladybug. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and rock a shower off because I stink and need one. So, let's head her inside. You're probably wondering why the stove clock isn't, hasn't been reset. Every time I set the stove clock, freaking power fails. So I have to reset it. So I said, frig it. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, look, it's pervert kitty. Oh my god, look at that guy over there. He's so stupid. <laughs> Didn't even so realize we're taping him. Oh my god, like, are you serious, people? Why do you do it like that? You're doing, uh, what a you're cat. doing it so wrong. He's oh, so goofy. Look what that person's wearing. Eh? Oh, oh, you caught on that we're taping you. Oh, okay. Hey, that's not fair. Look at that. <laughs> not nice. I was busy. Oh, boy. Felix, you're funny. No, but I'm watching people. All right, you go back to being a voyeur. Okay, I'll do that. Look at that. See screen. you later, buddy. Like well, we're gonna jump in the shower. Let's just hammer down. Don't do it like that. All right, well, I just got finished my shower and I was watching YouTube and I was like, oh yeah, I got a vlog today. Forgot about that thing. No, not really. <laughs> I just got sidetracked on YouTube, mainly uh, watching some Chevys in first here. If anybody out there uh, follows the BBB show, you know Chevys in first. She used to do a lot of the uh, correspondent videos for BAM back in the day and then she decided to ch try vlogging and she's been going now for 11 days straight before that she used to just make short clip videos you know you know things that are going on that she thought was interesting so she put it up like I used to do with the Skaven channel well now she's doing the countdown to Panther Nationals which is a car show type thing so go check out Chevy's in first I'll uh, throw the link in the description there and uh, check her out and uh, maybe if she gets enough support she'll uh, carry on after day 14 after the Panther Nationals also she said she's gonna be taking a lot of video at the Panther Nationals itself uh, themselves so she might have a bunch of footage of that so should be pretty awesome uh, a bunch of cars that's what the Panther Nationals are it's uh, a car show so if you're into cars and uh, she has a real nice freaking Crown Victoria let me tell you it looks like it's uh, a retired police car but I don't, I don't know on that for sure but holy shit is it ever a nice car but uh, be sure to give her uh, give her a look at least and if you like the style of vlogging give her a sub and let her know vlogging life sent you so as for me I gotta start getting ready for work uh, I got no lunch meat left oh no I do have lunch meat left I do yay so I can pack some sandwiches and uh, the girlfriend let me know that there's one of those uh, microwavable hot plates in the freezer so I can have that. 
I wonder what I'm looking at. I'm kind of like watching the vlog while vlogging. It's like multitasking. So um, yeah, she told me that there's one of those hot plates in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and have that and um, other things. So any hoozle, I'm gonna carry on with my day and uh, get shit ready around here and go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Alrighty, well it's time to frig off to work. So um, make sure we got everything. Nope. And uh, I might as well turn off the stuff. Let's try and reduce the amount of heat uh, output. Crack this window, kick on the fan, let that blow in, cool off this room, and uh, we'll hit the friggin' road. Head her off to work. Forgot to pack a friggin' lunch. An idiot. Dumbass, stupid me. But we'll just pack something quick now. Let's go. existence but you feel so good frig it well guys it's like 5 30 or some shit so i'm out here on my break just friggin having at her things i want to talk to you guys about i tried to do a rolling vlog from the house and uh looks like my sony recorder uh friggin shit the bed so i, I lost all the recording on that mainly because the mic i was using i don't even know if this is gonna work with this wind this is ridiculous we need to uh, find some shelter but um let's try down here that's yeah, a little bit better. So yeah, first thing I wanted to cover was um, t-shirts. What's going on with t-shirts? Not sure if I covered that. What the hell? I know there's other things I wanted to cover, but I can't remember what the hell it was. But the t-shirts, I'm working on a way to sell them. Uh, I'm trying to get a website going, and I have a, I have a host and everything. I just have no idea. Well, I hate building websites. I know how to program. I'm just not graphically inclined. So I'm trying to make something pretty that'll work to sell t-shirts on. The second thing is is can't order t-shirts I think unless I have five or more orders I got to confirm that with my shirt guy I don't know if it's five or ten but uh, I've got to confirm that and I think with shipping and the cost for the shirt and everything I may have to charge $17 for a small medium to large and $20 for extra large to 5xl I believe I'm gonna have to ask him if that's the case and go from there so yeah and we can do them in different colors too like right now I'm wearing the green you know I got the green shirt on I got the reds the whites the blacks the navy blues I'll be posting all the different colors and everything and trying to set up like a form type thing or I don't know how it's gonna work but we'll figure it out and go from there and um, yeah so I'm working on a website right now website design once that's up and running then you'll be able to order your shirts maybe I'll talk to Billy and see if he can get some stickers out too I don't know I'll see how much he'll charge me for a bunch of stickers and we'll do sticker sales as well and stuff and people seem to like stickers so we'll figure it out and we'll figure it out yeah um, also another news this Skaven channel, I told you guys I was leaving it alone. Well, I got a new plan for it. I'm actually, uh, I can't get away from the freaking wind. I, I can't. I, for sakes. But, um, 
As you all know, the Skaven channel has a buttload of tech videos on it because, well, let's just face it, I'm a big time tech guy, that's, that's what I do. Um, what I've been doing was, and I've already started, was uh, taking tech videos off the Skaven channel and putting them up on the Northern Tech and then pulling them off the Skaven channel, just yanking them down. Because honestly, I don't give a shit about that channel anymore. So I'm getting rid of that channel. Well, not getting rid of it, but I'm pulling all the good videos off of it and stoving them on the Northern Tech. So you'll probably see a lot of classic Skaven going up on the Northern Tech. You know why? If you want to check out the Northern Tech, links in the description. So is Arcane Fire and Ice if you're looking for music needs. There is a new rule for Arcane Fire and Ice before I said you didn't have to give me no credit or nothing. Well, apparently you have to give me credit because YouTube otherwise will not allow you to make your video work because they think you're stealing a friggin' Beatles song or a copyright song. Meanwhile, it's something I whipped up myself. So, apparently you gotta put this shit that's in the description, you gotta stove that into your description, otherwise YouTube's gonna have a frickin' fit, and um, they're gonna shit the bed. So, just follow suit with that, and you should be able to monetize your videos and stuff, and, and you shouldn't have any problems, so, right on. Uh, what else, what else, what else? There was something else I talked about in the car that I can't remember what the hell it was, so it probably wasn't important. I'm really pissed off with my Sony recorder, I'm gonna try something else tonight on the drive home. It probably won't make it to the vlog, but I'm gonna try it anyway for funsies, and we're gonna see what happens. But I'm really upset that um, the audio recorder failed due to a shitty mic. But I did come in to find my uh, laptop cooling pad broken, so I don't know who broke it, if it was the cleaners that night or the day staff, but somebody busted the fan on it right on. Appreciate that. So that sucks, now I gotta buy a new cooler pad. However, this website, 123 Ink Cartridges, sells a cooler pad with a hard drive enclosure on it. So it's got a two and a half inch laptop hard drive enclosure, which is awesome for the Acer because it has the 120 gig SATA. And I always carry around the laptop cooler and my portable. So what I'll be able to do is put a, like a big friggin' hard drive in the cooler pad. And then when I hook it up to my laptop, wherever I am, I have my hard drive available with me. So that's friggin' awesome, I like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Too bad it's USB 2.0, not 3.0, but whatever. My laptop only has USB 2.0, it's not a big deal. Um, so I think that pretty much wraps it up for the break. I got nothing else to really talk about. If I think of anything else, I'll talk to you guys at my lunch. Um, also, I found out on my iPhone, and everybody probably already knew this, and I just found out today. Um, if you're taking a picture or video, and you hit the um, volume up button, it acts as a hardware shutter button. I didn't know that. Found that out today, right on. Freaking sweet. So that made me happy. Any I'm gonna head her back inside. Hopefully the wind didn't wreck this uh, vlog too much even though I'm really enjoying it it's keeping me cool so until lunchtime guys talk to you guys later peace out well, it's a late supper tonight because I let the other guy have his supper first at 7.15 he got stuck on a long drown out call it lasted until 7.30 so I go at 8.15 to 9 now not a big deal not a big deal wind's still blowing out here but what can you do right what can you do oh what a night been a pretty quiet night so that's all right. You know, being prime and all, so I got extra duties to deal with and uh, other things. Clouds be rolling in, but frigate, not a big deal. Also, uh, Rex asked me if I'd do a review on his laptop because apparently a lot of the uh, YouTubers are asking about it, like what kind of computer he got, and he doesn't know. He honestly doesn't know. So, all he knows is it's an i7 quad core, it's got RAM, it's got a hard drive, and it makes videos. That's all he cares about. So, does the job for him? Perfect. So yeah, I messed up yesterday when I was talking about the new Apple computers. Apparently all the new MacBooks are running the Ivy Bridge. They're all uh, running the new third gen i7s and i5s. That is neat. I love chargers, or challengers. Anyway. Um, yeah, all the new, all the new laptops uh, from Apple are running the new Ivy Bridge. Uh, they haven't updated the Max, the iMax yet, and the Mac Pro has been waiting for a refresh for the past three years. So what the frig, you know, it's still running the first generation i series, I think, if that. Oh well. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to avoid Apple. I, I'd like to get a MacBook Air just so I can do my things, but holy shit, that's a thousand bucks. That's a lot of friggin' Skrilla to throw around for a computer, you know? Price of the MacBook Air versus is the same price that I paid for my friggin' Dell XPS 8300 for freak's sakes. Kind of expensive if you ask me. So, then I wouldn't be using it for video editing because I love editing in Sony Vegas, so... Frig it. Not gonna bother. So, if anybody wants video editing tutorials and stuff like that, I should talk to people like Soldier Knows Best or 
Hell, maybe even Perillo can help you out. Cause uh, yeah, I don't plan on getting a new MacBook anytime soon. I don't, I don't think so. Not unless I win one in a contest or something. I don't plan on buying one. Too expensive for my blood. But it's friggin' lunchtime. I need to get some food in me. So I got my shit cooking in the microwave right now. So I'm gonna hammer that into me and carry on with the night. So uh, friggin' talk to you guys later. Peace out. Well, it's like friggin' 10 o'clock and stuff. Well, quarter after 10. Coming out for my last break and. Uh, you know, a lot of you mentioned it in the past, asked me if I was going to, when or when I'm going to, put my light, my Netrider light in my Trans Am. Honestly, my biggest dilemma is, is I don't know where to put it. And then I had an idea. You notice on the front nose of the car, there's these little grill things. And I'm wondering if I can get it behind there. Because then it would be, it wouldn't be Night Rider, it would be a completely different invention. And it would still look pretty badass. So I'm going to look into that and see if it's possible. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's, uh, you know, this grill part right here that I'm showing you now. That's what I'd like to see if I can do it. Oh, freaking shaft light just buzzes the lens. I wonder if that came out all right. But uh, tonight I'm going for coffee with Rex, and uh, he wants me to do a review on his laptop because he doesn't know much about it, so he wants me to do one. So I told him, I said, well, we'll give it a try at, at the Hortons. But uh, holy sh... I just realized there's a whole bunch of bugs over there. Not too happy about that. But um, I'm going to get out of the stairwell and shut the vlog down here, guys. And be sure to either check out Rex's channel or the Northern Tech, because I'll probably be putting the review up there if he doesn't want it, for the review on uh, Rex's uh, laptop. So on that note, if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about today's video, you know where to leave them. Comment section below. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.